Hi, I'm Lynn Fuentes and my presentation will be on applying integral to chronic illness. How we can use an integral understanding to work with many of the baffling practical and spiritual questions that arise around this issue from an individual and a collective perspective. Our current approach to chronic illness, for the most part, is to look at it as wholly negative, something to be eliminated as quickly as possible. We see illness as only about pain and suffering, and thus, as with other human experiences of pain and suffering, we want to banish it from our sight and our thinking. This attitude has had multiple effects in our psyches and our systems, which do not serve any of us, healthy or ill. For example, despite the fact that more than 50% of people have one or more significant chronic illnesses, many of them in childhood, young and mid-adulthood, the acute model of illness still dominates. This model says that you go to the doctor and get cured and then come back into society and take up your life as it was before. But because chronic illness by definition means you are not cured and you cannot take up your life in the same way as before, you're sidelined, sent off to the kingdom of the sick, to quote Susan Sontag, and the rest of the world forgets about you. Worse, you may find you are disbelieved, demeaned, and bullied by friends, providers, and even by yourself because you too are subject to the influence of lower left quadrant cultural attitudes. Attitudes like this are not simply unkind. They also lead to discrimination and poor treatment. They interfere with the ability of people to get decent medical care, to maintain self-esteem, to find relationships in which they can be fully themselves, or to find meaningful work within the limitations of their physical capacities. Many of us see this, of course, and are working to change the system in various ways. And the long haul COVID patients are giving us a good look at the problem. However, instead of simply tweaking the system, I think we can reimagine it in a more fundamental way. In my years of experience with chronic illness as a caregiver, administrator, and educator, and now with the Koan of Illness program, I've come to see chronic illness quite differently not as something to push out of consciousness, but as something to explore and to mine for its treasures. So in this workshop, I want us to begin to do that. We'll use the aqua models to illuminate different aspects of this feature of human life, and we'll consider the views of the wisdom traditions. We'll use poetry and fiction to evoke different ways of seeing, and we'll draw from personal experience. There'll be plenty of opportunity for small and large group sharing. So I very much hope to see you there.